Hi, my name is Winslet, and welcome to my tier list for the Doctrines in Age of Wonders Planetfall and the current version of the game that's in the Tyrannosaurus um, patch of Age of Wonders Planetfall. In this video, I will talk about how to use this tier list and my plan for covering why I placed each doctrine where I did. Full disclaimer, I do not play very aggressively and a lot of my personal preferences have impacted where I placed the doctrines. If you do have any strong opinions about where they should go, please keep that in mind and know that this is more of a general guide to help new players understand why I chose to use certain doctrines over others in certain situations. Um, with that being said, I, I do want to encourage as much discussion of this tier list as possible so please feel free to let me know what you would change in the comments down below likewise if you agree with the assessment and you think it should stay the same then I would find it helpful to hear those thoughts as well now you may be asking yourself why put all the doctrines in a tier list at all well you only get access to seven doctrine slots in Planetfall so you only want to pick doctrines that you think are going to be used for a while or the rest of the game making that decision one um, one of the most important decisions that you're going to make in a game of age of wonders planetfall while i simply could just list off the doctrines i like in the order of usefulness like 1 through 97. I do think grouping them up based on their general usefulness is an incredibly useful way for new players to break down their options. Not only that, but any new doctrines that come with future expansions will change the number ranking of doctrines that are worse than the new ones. So that won't be as helpful as a visual where the doctrines are grouped together by their usefulness. Eventually, there will most likely be another big change to the doctrines over the next year, and uh, I anticipate that I will need to update this tier list. When I do that, I will review the comments and take your advice into consideration. Those of you who have been following my channel for a while know that I attempted to make a tier list uh, for the doctrines on the Stegosaurus patch of Planetfall, but a week after I did the first video looking at just the Syndicate doctrines, the Tyrannosaurus patch was announced, and then it came out a couple of weeks after that. Um, so I wanted to give myself a little bit of time between that patch's release and uh, we're doing this video just to get a little bit more familiar with it all. I had to move around quite a few doctrines, um, less than half of them, but there's 97, so it did take me some time to kind of wrap my head around all the little things that did change. Um, yeah, Covert Ops, for example, they're better, so I did move a couple of them up, but they're still generally in the same place. Um, happiness is a little bit more useful in general so some of the things that didn't change their numbers in regard to happiness are better because just you know the focus on happiness is is a little bit more and then since it's easier to develop things like your sectors um, things that had to do with production moved around a little bit too now let's explain what we actually have here in front of us in terms of our symbols on the right and uh how they apply to the doctrines on the left. So accessibility, we have a 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9 for accessibility, and that represents how easy it is to unlock a lot of these technologies through the research tree. The very first one in the S tier is Noble Diplomats. That has a 1 in the top left representing that you can get it through researching tier 1 technology so relatively early in the game. Um, if we go down to the tier for it, the A tier doctrines, the very first one has a seven, and that means that you need tier seven technology to get that doctrine. So it's something that you're gonna get a lot later in the game. And I thought that it would be useful to measure these guys up to each other without taking that into consideration. Um, because yeah, in the late game, some of the very early accessible things can compete with the the things that you unlock later on, but not all of them. We're just looking at them for their outright value, and then if you want to to um, 
value things that you get earlier you can you can look for those green icons and imagine that they're maybe a, a little bit higher up in the tier list give them a little tiny boost there is um a couple doctrines on here that you don't get through the technology tree the ones that you get through the npc uh, factions have been labeled with the npc label in the top left i think i can find one pretty quickly here yeah there's one in the B tier, the third one in is, no, the second one in on B tier is for the Paragon, and the second to last doctrine in the A tier is for, um, I think, the Spacers. The, the doctrines that you get through your Empire quests have an E next to them. There's one in S, the uh, fourth one is, I think, Technologist, so you get that from a Empire Quest, that's why it's got that symbol there, because that one in particular is amazing, that's why it's all the way up there. I, I don't know, a lot of those are pretty good, uh, but there are a couple that I would ignore. Now, landmark doctrines. There's a, there's a couple doctrines at the bottom here. My face is covering, I think, one or two of them. One, there's one for each of the secret texts in the game, and um, all of those are pretty much useless to you that's why they're in d tier unless they're your secret tech and then it's really really good and those doctrines are um, upgraded to maybe like b tier or even a tier um, which brings us to our next symbol better with synergy so if something requires a lot of investment to make it a better doctrine i do have an icon there to to symbolize that it gets a lot lot better Noble Diplomats by itself um, at the very beginning of the game doesn't generate anything, but all by itself, after you you know put a tiny bit of effort into doing some questing, you get a lot of resources out of it. And um, in that regard, I think that it makes it the, uh, that is the best doctrine in the game, in my opinion, just because of the sheer amount of resources you get for very little investment. Um, yeah, like the ones that involve getting more experience and leveling, like your Kirko. I think there's one in B tier that says if you've got uh, a lot of stuff that helps you get a lot of experience, if you invest in that, then that becomes a better skill. And by itself, sure, getting more experience is good, but it's not it's not like all around amazing. Now we have a, another symbol here: the better versus certain opponents. Um, certain doctrines give you a added bonus damage to um, like mechanical units or xenoplague units or non-enlightened units and all of those have been marked with swords they conveniently actually are, are very very similar in, in terms of impact so they're i think all in c tier yeah that's what it looks like and one or two of them have the better with synergy icon so if you invest heavily in it it can become a lot lot better but some of them are just good by themselves. I think the one involving the Amazon, it's it's covered right now. I've covered it with my uh, with my webcam, unfortunately. But yeah, I think that one is very very nice, and um, I think yeah, it gives you bonus damage to melee, or it gives you frenzied on your melee. So you know, if you invest in melee, that's a really really good doctrine. I think that's everything. I think that's everything I wanted to say about this tier list today. Um, yeah, we're going to be doing uh, explanations. We're going to be diving into this a little bit more and looking at each individual set of doctrines like I did earlier with the Syndicate. We'll, we'll probably not do one for the Syndicate itself because it's going to be pretty much the same. I have shuffled around um, one or two doctrines at the bottom, but for the most part, they're in the same place uh, but yeah if you want me to uh, cover any other topics like this in a tier list if you got any thoughts please let me know in the comments down below i'll see you around have a good one